designs her own masterpieces right here. It's crafter Holly Pepin. Today, it's all about a craft to create with corks, and you have really gone crazy with this. This is awesome. So for all of us wine lovers out there, we don't want to start throwing them out anymore. What can we do with them? No, save them totally. Put them in jars, yeah. you know, the cute things. I mean, you could have baskets, anything. Just save them. And not just the wine ones. You want to save those champagne corks, too. <gasps> I'll show you why, but they're a little beefier, a little sturdier, so save those, How too. do you keep them from crumbling? Just don't let them dry out. I know that sounds oh, kind of really? simple, but you can see I usually just keep mine after a while. Once I fill up that jar, I start dumping them into the Ziplocs, and I just keep Makes them sense. there. And I've never had a problem with the crumbling. And how versatile are these corks? <gasps> so versatile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. And even better once you get painting them. Mm -hmm. And probably, like, the biggest Holly Helpful hint that I could tell you with painting them is you can take your brush, if you want, and do all of that. Or you can just take a big bag, I dump them in, dump in a bunch of paint, and then I just roll it, and then you're literally just shaking them. And that's it. And that's all I did. But that's how you got, you know, the kind oh, of little yeah. so speckly. It's a, and that, which is really cool. I just, I thought it gave it a I little like texture in instead of necklace. being a little solid color. And I like that you said a Holly helpful hint. That <laughs> is really, really cute. <laughs> the same thing with beads too. You yeah. know you can throw the beads in there but it's super quick and not messy. Let's just so, go over a few of the things that you did. This is a card holder which I think is really clever. Yeah so for that you want your corks cut in half mm -hmm. and the easiest way to cut those in half it sounds silly but you're gonna want to throw all your corks into a saucepan into I'm sorry into like your little strainer. Oh okay. And then you want to boil some water in a soft pan uh, put your strainer on top and just steam them for about 10 to 15 minutes and then you can cut them with a knife really easy. It's that easy. It's so I would have never thought about that. Yes. Yeah, so okay, easy. what about crafts for kids? <gasps> Absolutely. That's where the necklace comes uh -huh. into play. I think, you know, it's so good for, for little kids. They need a little assistance here because we're drilling. Um, but for the necklace, the first thing you want to do is take the cork and you want to drill the little <sighs> holes in them. That's all. It's okay. really, really quick little hole in Simple. there. Yeah, super quick. So while you're doing those, you can have the kids, you take these little adhesive stars. You know, they have them in the craft stores. Mm -hmm. You just want to take two of the same size. Put them and together? Just put them together. And that's it. And they stick together. Okay. So, you know, the kid can be doing that while you're drilling all the corks. Right. And then if you want, you can take that. Okay. This is just some embroidery thread. So you can use string, yarn, whatever you want to so use. So like sewing it together. Yeah, and just like, you know, popcorn, you know, right. garland you're making. So for that, yeah, you're going to string. I've got a really big needle on okay. there. Okay. So that goes right through. And then a bead. And then a bead. And you can make this as long as you want. Exactly. So that's where you end up with. You know, oh, how cute necklace. is that? And then for that, you just want to stab the needle <laughs> right it. in the middle. There we go. And then just, you know, repeat the process. That's and keep going. really cute. And it's super light. And I think it's a lot of fun. They can wear it for all their holidays. Or yeah. one of our producers, the executive producer, said, my kid could wear those to the pool. And it's true. Yes, that's true. It's kind of fun for Memorial <laughs> Day weekend. So super easy and a lot of fun, though, and I think. How many wine corks do you really think is needed? Gosh, I think on here I've got maybe about 20. Okay. Not even. Let's move on to these little stars over here. What is this for? So these are great, I think, just if you're having a barbecue for Memorial Day or whatever event you want to apply it to. Just scattering along down the middle of a picnic table I think would be adorable. You know, you could add names to them. We were talking. Yeah, if you add a little clip, I thought it would be cute. Like if this could be a um, table placement, put their name or put their picture. And then right it. that's where they sit. Denise that got could, crafty. Uh, <laughs> Another helpful hint from Holly. Exactly. So the kids are going to be coming out uh, of school. I mean, I know there's like two, three days left of school for a lot right, of kids. Right. So we don't want them to get bored. What are the must-haves <gasps> for mom and dad to have at home for the crafting? The must thing I always did is I got the biggest cardboard box I had, put it in the bottom of a closet, and I threw in my cardboard tubes, my cleaned cans, you know, no sharp cans yeah. or anything like that. Just empty boxes, you know, all that stuff, scraps of string, leftover ribbons. My daughter would just sit in front of that box and just create and create and, and create play. and glue. And yeah, but look at all those things we throw yeah. out. Again, you're repurposing them. They can paint them. They can build them. I mean, boxes, you can build them together and make a robot. Really inexpensive. You know? Exactly. Most of the times you buy uh, the expensive item and the kid wants to end up playing with the box. With the box. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so exactly. If we want to find out more tips from you or maybe 
maybe meet with you, what should we do? Well, you can reach out to me on Facebook mm -hmm. at uh, Paint Happy Designs. I'm there. You can follow me on Holly Pepin. Okay. I'm on Instagram. Tons of ideas. Easy Send enough. me your ideas. Love it. Thank you, Holly. Absolutely. All right, if you have how-to questions about today's craft or any other crafting questions, go ahead and send Holly an email to this address, painthappy at yahoo.com. You can always find her again on Facebook and also under Paint Happy Designs.